Hey guys, Wade here with Texas Duck Dogs, Callback Retrievers, and Eager Retriever. This is our full length video on the subject of your dog whining in the duck blind. And Phil Robertson, this video is just for you. I listened to your family's podcast and I heard that you've got a dog that nobody can stand to hunt with because he whines so much. I can fix that problem for you. I've got 20 years dog training experience. You'll appreciate the fact I'm a licensed ordained Southern Baptist minister, and I also train competition working retrievers for a living. Behind me, you'll see our professional grade duck blind. All of the dogs that come into our basic hunter program or our advanced hunting program get worked in and out of that duck blind. With me today is Dolly. She is a dog with a tremendous amount of drive. She is a whiner. She gets a little bit vocal when it's not her turn to go get birds or in anticipation of the birds. So I've had a few hunting guides over the years contact me. They say, I need a new dog. And I say, why do you need a new dog? Well, mine whines so black, bad in the duck blind that my clients don't like hunting with me. I said, well, why don't we fix the dog instead of getting you a new one? And they say, you can do that? Yes, I can. And I want to tell you how there's a few tools and I want to show them to you over here that you're going to need to educate and prepare your dog to be silent in the duck blind. A bumper, a dog crate, your duck call, and a training collar. Now, I'm going to put the remote transmitter up because you don't need it. The collar that we recommend is the Garmin PT-10. It comes with the Garmin Pro 550 training package or the Garmin Sport Pro. Let me show you. I'm going to take this collar and I'm going to press and hold this button. Green light is training mode. Blue light, now the, the collar is in bark mode. I'm going to strap this to the dog's vocal cords. Just like that. Now, these collars are very safe. They start at the lowest level setting and they gradually increase in stimulation until the dog is silent. So whether your dog is barking at birds or whining in the blind, this is one of the only bark collars, and it's actually not a bark collar, it's a training collar with a bark mode. But the bark mode is so sensitive that I call it a whine stopper because it can pick up the dogs, their whining, those vocalizations. So you strap it snugly to the vocal cords. Now, the first time your dog experiences this does not need to be on a duck hunt. It should be in the backyard. You put the dog in a crate here. Kettle. I'm going to close the crate. Now I'm going to drive Dolly crazy. Here they come. Get ready. Shoot them. Take them. Now, for most of your dogs, that's going to cause them to start to whine. They're in the crate. They're excited. They want to go get the bumper that you're throwing. Or some of your dogs have already figured out when the camouflage and the shotgun comes out, they're amped up and excited. So get all that stuff out. Do it in your backyard. Do it in your garage, wherever. Put the dog in the crate. Quack, quack, quack. Blow the duck call. Throw. The dog is going to start to whine or even bark and vocalize. And you're going to be able to use that to teach the dog to be quiet. So as you hear those vocalizations, that collar is going to start giving low-level stimulation to your dog. And you're going to say quiet. After two or three sessions of this in your backyard, you're now ready to employ it in the duck blind. So this is a way to teach your dog to be quiet on duck hunt. Break. Fetch. That a girl. Good dog. Here. Heel. Sit. As always, enjoy your dog and enjoy the hunt just like I enjoy Dolly. Heel. Sit. Get ready, guys. Two on the right. <laughs> Shoot them. Take them. Get them. Dolly. Happy training and happy hunting.